Welcome to our new CIO Insights, a quarterly series where I will cover hot topics in the investment world and discuss risks and opportunities in financial markets. Twenty twenty one has been quite a positive year for investors. However, it really depends where you have been investing. While US equity markets are breaking one record after another, the sentiment in emerging markets is quite depressed and returns have been disappointing. This divergence is largely explained by the strong growth in corporate earnings in the US compared to the rest of the world. But will this continue? In our view, earnings growth should converge in 2022, meaning that growth in the US is likely to moderate while it should pick up in emerging markets. As a result, we expect emerging markets to outperform next year. The outlook for inflation is clearly the key investment question today. Is inflation purely cyclical and only transitory, or is it more structural? High inflation figures are clearly driven by more demand for energy, commodities and labor compared to the available supply. Supply constraints are likely to ease next year and so inflationary pressures are likely to diminish. We will get some relief with lower inflation prints next summer also due to base effects. Nevertheless, I think that inflation will stay elevated for a number of years which has been the explicit goal of the US central bank ever since they announced the new average inflation target framework last year. Besides monetary policy, what other tailwinds to persistent inflation are we seeing? The great pandemic has opened the floodgates of fiscal spending, which will be difficult to close again. Due to its urgency and broad consensus across parties, the fight against climate change will have a similar effect on fiscal spending and will be longer lasting so that government spending is likely to remain high in this decade. Fiscal spending supported by monetary accommodation might have a longer lasting effect on inflation. So what are the best inflation hedges for an investment portfolio? The best inflation hedges are real or digital assets. Anything that is in strong demand while there is limited supply. So investors should sell most of their traditional low or negative yielding fixed income holdings and diversify into real assets like commodities and real estate. Equities should remain the key part of every portfolio as corporate earnings are growing in nominal terms. Should investors own digital assets like Bitcoin? In a way, digital assets have a lot of similarities to gold. It is hard to make a price forecast or to come up with a fair value. Therefore, it really is down to the preference of each investor. Some clients have 0% in gold, while others have more than 30%. Over time, and as digital assets become more accessible, it is quite likely that investors will shift some assets from gold into digital assets. However, I would like to add one word of caution with regard to digital assets. They have been much more volatile than gold in the last few years and will likely remain highly volatile in the future. With regard to our overall outlook for next year, I would summarize it as follows. Global growth is expected to weaken in the coming months, but nevertheless remain robust. Central banks are watching the path of inflation rates very closely, but want to avoid tightening monetary policy too early and too quickly. Inflation is still seen as transitory and mostly supply-driven. As monetary policy will not increase the supply of semiconductor chips or the amount of wind to produce energy, central bankers are likely to stay on the sidelines and hope that supply bottlenecks will resolve in 2022. In our investment portfolios, we stick to high yield within fixed income. Our particular focus is on financial issuers with subordinated debt. As an investor, you earn a high carry with an investment in a sector where credit fundamentals have been improving. 
On the equity side, we have a contrarian call on emerging markets. Once the cycle in China rebounds, there is a lot of catch-up potential. We see early signs of a bottoming in credit growth and also think that most of the regulatory crackdowns are behind us. The upcoming 5-year party congress next year could be a positive trigger for a better stock market environment in 2022. The strong long-term trends towards a more sustainable future are accompanied by massive fiscal and corporate sector spending. This keeps us invested in our thematic equity strategies where we see the most promising opportunities. Overall, we have a constructive outlook on the global economy and financial markets. While inflation is likely to remain elevated, portfolio hedges are available and we do not expect that inflation readings or central bank reactions will spoil the party. As always, there are plenty of uncertainties and risks, but there are also plenty of good investment opportunities in a world that continues to recover from the great pandemic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all a happy and healthy festive season.